Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to change your default keyboard for your Galaxy S8. Now if I open up any application that requires the keyboard, we're going to see what the default keyboard is for the Galaxy S8. So you see here, this is the keyboard layout that it comes with by default, and I think it's actually really good. But there are some other keyboards that do give us some advanced features that I also like to use. So the way that we do this is we first need to download a keyboard from the Google Play Store, which you can do just by searching for keyboards and finding one of your favorite ones. Some are free, some are paid, just keep that in mind. But find a keyboard that you like from a reputable provider. What I've done is I've actually downloaded 1Password, which is the way that I manage passwords, and I also have Gboard, which is Google's keyboard. Now what I do now is enter into the settings, come all the way down until we see general management. Here I can see language and input, and then date and time. So tap on language and input, and before we can change our default keyboard, which you see is our second option, we actually need to come into keyboards on the on-screen keyboard, and then we're gonna tap on manage keyboards. Now this is where I'm going to be able to see all of the keyboards that I have installed on my device. So I have one password, Gboard, Google Voice Typing, Samsung Voice Input, and then Samsung Keyboard up the top of the screen, which is our default keyboard. So I've gone ahead and toggled all of these on to make sure that I can actually set one as my default keyboard. So I'm gonna come back, into my language and input, tab on default keyboard. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Gboard for this example. So now Gboard, you see it's even switched up there, is now my default keyboard. And then I can come back into the messaging app, pull up my keyboard, now you see my Gboard is now available for me to use. I also notice down in the bottom right hand corner of our nav bar is also a keyboard button where I can quickly select my keyboard while I'm using a keyboard. So I thought that was kind of a nice touch. And also with third-party keyboards, some of those keyboards have settings of their own. So now if I come back into my app drawer, go into Gboard, I can actually see my Gboard keyboard settings. So here I can actually theme my keyboard, so I can use pictures, I can use colors, even Google Images here on my keyboard, so I thought that was kind of nice. I have a th theme, I have preferences, so there's a lot of different things that I can switch here on my Google keyboard. And there's also settings for the actual Samsung keyboard, but some of these other options actually allow you to theme it, and I thought theming the keyboard was kind of nice. So if I wanted to add in an image here, download it, I get an actual preview of what it's gonna look like. I can even add keyboarders, tap apply, and now if I come back into my message app here, you can see now it's applied my actual setting. So it's kind of nice to be able to switch keyboards back and forth on the fly by using the button down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You're setting your default keyboards, that way it learns your preferences. Because these keyboards are going to learn with you, it's going to learn what you like to type, how you type it, how you say it, what words you need to autocorrect. There's a lot of different options here with the keyboards, but just getting the keyboard that best suits your needs is the most important thing. So look for those keyboards in the Google Play Store and swap them out. Try a few different ones and let us know in the comment section below which keyboard you prefer the most. Subscribe to Save Tech for more videos like this. Give us a thumbs up to let us know that you like this video and we'll see you in the next one.